Hey everyone, Techni here. I'm going to do this video on fan headers and should you get one and why. So anyways, the one I picked up here is the Silverstone 1-8 to PWM fan header. Now don't let that PWM uh, trick you because it only does PWM through one header. So anyways, let's see what we get in the box here. So a little piece of Velcro, which will let you stick it on there and so you can stick it inside your case wherever you want in the back. Now what I was talking about with the one header see if you can uh there you go you see how it's all matte around it the one glossy side right there that's going to be where your pwm is going to come through so again how this works here is like i said you're getting your pwm through the glossy side just that one slot right there so that one fan coming out is going to be able to control not the uh the rest out here right so this is going to go into your motherboard which is going to give it that control right there your power is still coming from the sata which we're going to plug into our uh, power supply down there now that's if you want Again, you don't have to use this and use the uh, PWM. You can just use the uh, regular slots here that will work as the three pin, which will run at full speed. You won't be able to control the speed, in other words. So real quick, why, why would you want a fan header, right? And let's talk my situation, for example, which I think is just perfect for it. As you saw before, we did the cooler right here, which that's going to the uh, fan header down here, right? And then we have, I believe it's this guy and this guy that is controlled on this fan header here. So in other words, I'm out of headers. Sorry, now we're gonna get into the installation. This thing seems super easy breezy. I mean, you got a stinking SATA cord and we're gonna put this somewhere where it fits and plug a fan and it will be done. <laughs> right here is my exhaust fan the rear exhaust fan and it's not going to reach right it's just falling short right there <clears throat> so lucky for me i had some of my other extenders on hand so what i'm going to do is just plug this guy up right there and uh bring it down into the hub so make sure you order some extenders if need be again these guys are extremely cheap like five bucks or something even cheaper if you don't get them colored all right so now that we're all installed and everything let me do one quick recap here again we have the AIO running off a fan header on the motherboard, um, PWM, and then we have the two top exhaust running on PWM um, fan header. So we'll be able to control those two. The two that we installed on our fan hub are the front intake and the rear exhaust. And these guys, again, since they're running from the fan hub, they'll be running at full speed. Uh, so let's power up and see how it sounds. All right, here we go. Fingers crossed. <laughs> to turn on your power supply. <laughs> Don't forget to turn on your power strip. All right, now that we got everything turned on, <laughs> let's go ahead and see how they sound. All right, not bad, can you guys hear it? But one other side note, what I did do on the rear fan here is I put this inline resistor, I think is what they call them. It comes with the uh, DC fans, not the PWM, because PWM, they expect you're gonna be controlling them through your um, BIOS plugged into your motherboard or whatnot, right? Um, so these guys, like I said, if you just plug them straight in, they'd be running full speed, which was, what is it, 14 or something like that. Um, so you can plug this in and it reduces it. I don't know how much it reduces it, but um, it's not a drastic amount. It's I don't know, to me it feels, just by the feel of it, it feels about 25%, but why I did that is this back one was a little bit loud. It wasn't, like I said, it wasn't anything bad, plus I'm sitting right here next to it, right? So once I get it down under the desk and everything, I probably won't hear it at all. But my thought was that it's taking all of that, it's getting the majority of the air right there, so now it feels extremely balanced. That's without me going into my uh, BIOS and adjusting any of the settings, right? Everything's still set, which those were at... Ah, man, I believe they were at 12. So very, very easy install if you're lacking the headers or if you're using the same case and you need to do something like this. And again, not with my same setup. You can do a completely different setup. You know what I mean? But if you're lacking those headers, I highly recommend you getting a hub. This guy's only like 12 bucks, 11 bucks, something like that, I believe. Super easy install, running straight SATA. Um, you don't have to plug it into your motherboard at all. You plug it right into your power supply. And if you're using a stock power supply, you still got connections for it, right? You're good. You don't draw much power with the fan, so you're safe on that side. 
Um, I think it's really good. Like I said, you'll still be able to control whatever fans you put in there for your motherboard. And this guy's just going to give you a little bit of extra air push or pull, whatever you decide. So thank you so much for watching this one. If you liked it, hit that thumbs up and uh, subscribe to catch the next one. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Catch you the next one. Bye now.